Hey guys, Barry here from TGS with a Borderlands 3 Director's Cut Achievement Hunting video. Might be on site, 25 gamer score, destroyed 50 mysterious Iridium piles. As grindy as it sounds, and being the rarest achievement in the DLC, if not the entire game at this point, this achievement is actually not that difficult, it's more of a grind. So to put it as you know straightforward as possible, during your playthrough of the DLC, you're going to unlock certain items. You're going to get an amulet as well as a pistol from the DLC that will uh, allow you to see mysterious Iridium piles which are otherwise invisible. So what you're going to want to do is play through the entirety of the DLC, so have all of Ava's podcast which will unlock this achievement for you. This achievement's not related, this is a separate achievement you guys might want to check out for a separate boss fight. But as per this achievement, once you unlock, I mean technically you don't need the visibility to throw it out there, if you don't see it you can still get it, you just won't be able to see it. So in the end, the way I went ahead and did this, I'll show you guys. So first thing I'm going to do is show you guys what I have equipped. So right now I have the Mysterious Artifact equipped. It says Entropy, Gray, careful what you keep. This is actually what allows us to see pretty much uh, the Invisible Iridium Pile. So I'll go ahead and I'll do a run through of the process I used. It's a little bit grindy. It took me under an hour to do it. I'm sure there might be some other ways, but this is the way I used. So hopefully it helps you guys. So basically what I'm going to do is uh, show you guys the map. So first things first, you're going to spawn all the way back here on Carnivora in Pandora. So go to Pandora in your map, go to Carnivora. And what you're going to do is you're going to spawn at the fast travel point. You're going to have to run through this entire place. And yes, it is possible to find, I think, up to two of them if you go back down the elevator and run through here. But uh, for me, I didn't waste the time going back through. I made my way up here, took the elevator up, and came here. Once you're here, you're going to want to make sure that you get the uh, auto save to trigger, which is right over here. Uh, somewhere. Oh, sorry, it's right here. I don't know why I missed it, but it's right here is the auto save. For some reason I thought it was up further. But uh, once you get that auto save, you're good to go to begin the grind. So you're going to run out of here to where you get a vehicle. And you're going to go ahead and grab a vehicle. I'd recommend using the Cyclone as uh, seemingly the fastest vehicle to get out here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around the right of this stuff, the pipe, this little hill. And we're going to head directly this way. If you look at the top right of the screen, you can say I'm going uh, basically west. Not fully west, maybe northwest is a better way to put it. And you're going to come to the Iridium Pledge Drive. I figured I would show it on the map once I got here, so you guys can see where I'm physically at. It's a lot better than just showing a general map location. So we started right back here. You're going to head basically northwest around the stuff, and you're going to end up right here. Right in this little room right here, I believe. Uh, right in here somewhere is a little room we're about to pull up to. And that's where you're going to find the mysterious Iridium, but not every time. On normal mode, it seems like we get three per run. If you do Vault Hunter mode, which I didn't do, you can get even more like five or so per run. But there's no guarantee that it'll be mysterious. So that's that's the hassle. So you're going to come here. I believe I only see one mysterious at a time. You're going to slide under the door. This is a mysterious one. You can tell because it's basically see-through without being see-through, if you get the idea. You can see through uh, it a little bit. But look, look, looks a little bit different. These are the solid ones, and these do not count for the achievement. I'd still get them every time you do it, because you get you know a ton of iridium if you keep doing them. But this one is what you want. So you're going to melee it. Don't worry, it does break. There we go. And then, pretty much from here, all I'd recommend doing once you're ensure you got that save, is you're going to quit game. You're going to go to the main menu. I'm Series X, so it's going to load pretty quickly. You're going to load back up. And you're going to rinse repeat again, and it's going to put you right back before the vehicle. You're going to hop in the vehicle, and you're going to drive right over to the same spot. And literally rinse repeat this. You know, hopefully uh, it goes better for anyone who may watch this video. But uh, that is that. The other, I will say real quick, is at Voracious Canopy. If you go to the green vending machine in the middle of the map, near a dead claptrap, uh, you should be able to activate a save point. I'm not going to show in this video. Then you're going to drop down to the dead claptrap, guys through the hidden path by a radio and there'll be five to six iridium piles two to three on the ledge and two to three on the floor for you to get again it's the same deal not all of them are mysterious so it's probably going to take you a ton of runs uh, this is the route i went as it uh you know worked for me but like i said i'm sure somebody out there will find a better route i just wanted to throw together a little video to show how i did it 
as uh, you know, we've made a quite a few Borderlands 3 hunting videos you know, in our day for achievements, and figured why not being one of the rarest in the entire game to do so. So pretty much, uh, yeah, there's no other way to put it. It's, it's going to be a grind. It's going to take a while. As an achievement hunter myself, I've done a lot of grindy stuff in my day, and this is just another grind in the book is a good way to put it. I uh, recommend checking out True Achievements if you have any other questions. I uh, kind of use them for hints as to where to go. Uh, shout out to Fuga on True Achievements for uh, writing together a guide, by the way. Just want to give him a quick shout out because that's pretty cool. And I also want to give a shout out to uh, one of the videos I watched, which is Killer6 with ones, two ones in his name, Killer6. He has uh, he has over like 400k subs, so he uh, puts together stuff like this, like Iridium hunts and so forth. And uh, this is one of his recommended locations, which he actually got from one of his uh, subscribers, I believe. So it's just a big loophole of shout-outs to people. Just, uh, you know, that's just how the cookie crumbles. But, uh, yeah, either way, I don't really have any other thoughts for you guys at this point. I believe that covers everything I have for this video. As you guys can see, I'm officially at 81 out of 81. So that was the final achievement I needed. Hopefully this little guide helps you guys. Definitely appreciate if you like and subscribe.